everyone welcome to another review here at Frontline Model Lobbies and I must admit it has been a while since I last been on so I really apologise about that but we've got two reviews here going to do them back to back so we've got the Gecko 135th Ambulance well known I know and then we've got the Airfix one um, there has been a bit of um, a falling out with certain parties I'm not going to go too much into that but there has been legal matters and this, that and the other. But what I wanted to show you is the difference between these two kits and how I think, and this is my own personal opinion, that the Gecko one is so much more value for money over the Airfix one. So let's have a look in the box. Okay, so we might as well start off with the Airfix one first, as soon as it starts with A. And yeah, reasonable box art. So in the box, what you get is, now I've been on the official Airfix website and what you get is, well what they say is sprues and decals. Ooh. But now, what you really get is your instruction booklet as normal. You get some decals and a tiny bit of photo etched. And you get one, two, three, and a bit, I think, of sprues. Now, the sprues contain 146 parts. So, with that being said, let's have a look at the instructions first. So, on second thoughts, I thought it would be best if I show you the Gecko kit back to back with the Airfix kit unboxing first before we get onto the instructions or anything else. So, with that in mind, you've got well-known written on there. Now, that could be something to do with licensing with Austin or this, that and the other. There is a bit of a legal situation going on, which I think is a load of bull. Shit. But, that being said, you'll see what I mean by this being a better kit than the Airfix one immediately when I open up the box. Now, the Airfix one comprises about 140-odd pieces and has got six photo etch parts, it's got decals and it's got instructions like any normal kit. Whereas this one has got 420 parts in the box. It's got five separate tyres, it's got 17 parts, uh, 17 clear parts shall I say, 44 etch parts and one... And perhaps a hose. A hose, one hose whatever that might be, but let me just show you in this box. So, as you can see, a bit of a reminiscent to ICM. So opening up the box, you've got your photo etch with the hers, and you've got your PE parts there, as you can see the difference between the Airfix kit quite a lot more. You've got the instruction booklet, you've got the Madge, so you've got the figure, so you've got the queen so yeah and then you've got two sprues there a series of number of sprues there you've got two in there I think you've got four in there something like that uh, you've got three in there you've got the spare tires oh, all the tires you've got the clear parts there and then you've got, I think, three or four screws in there, something like that. So anyway, bear with me two seconds. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the instructions back to back. So I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty then. So I thought that I'd show you the instructions together rather than just doing the Airfix ones and the Gecko ones separate. Because it will just take me about 20 minutes to do it that way. And plus, not only that you get to see what's the difference between the Airfix and the Gecko one immediately. So, front main page, blurb, usual thing. Over the page, you've got some more blurb on the Gecko one. The smaller instructions are the Gecko one. So, just to make that clear. Now, over the page, you can see straight away the difference between the Airfix and the Gecko instructions and what you're going to get. So you get one, two, three sprues, four sprues, and the bonnet, 
and six pieces of photo etched in the FX1. The Gecko one, you get 21 sprues, I think. I think I've counted that right. You can pause it and count it and you'll probably tell me I'm a knobhead. But anyway, you get 21 sprues, what have you. You get five wheels, you get one hose. Obviously, you get decals in the Airfix one, but you also get decals in the uh, Gecko one, naturally. But instead of six pieces of photo etch, you get 44 in the Gecko one for virtually the same price. So, which one would you rather buy just looking at that? Obviously, you're going to get that one, but that is just looking at this, so we'll move over. So, step one is virtually similar, as you can see between the two. Airfix, you put in the chassis rail and you put in the cross members in, same on this one. Now, you've got a virtually about the same amount, with the exception of that piece there. That's been said. Moving over... You're putting leaf springs on the Airfix kit, you're putting leaf springs on for the Gecko kit. And then you're putting some other segments on here and there. Again, you're putting leaf springs on step three, and then you're putting some more parts on step four on the Gecko kit. Moving over, you're putting step three is on the Airfix one, you're putting in the rear diff, and step four, you're putting in the exhaust. So step five and six, you're doing the wheels on the Gecko one. And on step six, instead of step three of the Airfix one, step six of the Gecko one, you're putting in the rear diff. Now, out of the two, I can't really see on the instructions any difference between the two, but that's been said. Moving over on to the Gecko one, step seven, eight, is basically you're doing the front wheels, putting them on, and then doing everything else and putting the engine together. Now, in the Airfix one, you don't get an engine. Like, like I could show you there, you just, on step two on the Airfix one, you just get a flat plate, you don't get anything. There's hardly any detail on it whatsoever. So, that's, that's the difference. So, at the point where, on the Airfix one, you go from step five to step six, and then at this point, you've done the whole chassis, You've put the fuel tanks on and you put the front fender on. So we'll stop there with the Airfix one. We'll stop there. We'll get to that point with the Gecko one. So I'll bin them off and let's do the Gecko one. So putting them in. So you're putting the fuel tank all together. You then put in the exhaust in. You put in all the steering components for the front steering rack and everything like that. Moving over, more steering components, putting the wheels together, step 14. Step 15, this is what you can do, you direction the wheels, you can change it. Not quite sure, I suppose you can do that with the Airfix one. Step 16, other than like I said, step 6 on the Airfix one, you're now putting the fuel tanks on. Step 17, you're putting the rear step on. And then step 19, you're putting the front of the vehicle together. We'll come back to this in a second and I'll show you the Airfix one on the instructions, but you've got photo etch grills that you can see through, you can see the rad and you've got the rad extensions, that all that's together on there in photo etched. And then, step 20, you put in the front fender on. So that's where you are with that. So, we're there. We move over the page, step 22 on the Gecko one, okay? Airfix one, move over the page. Now we're putting the front together, okay? So we're putting the rear section, we're putting the uh, stretchers together, we're putting the front wall in, and then we're putting the rip well, the door to the rear back section of the vehicle. Um, and then we're putting the stretchers all together, we're putting the side walls together, that sort of lock down, putting the spare wheel on. So we'll stop there, step nine. So, as you can see, in fact, over the page, yeah, we'll stop there actually. So step 10 on the Airfix one, you've got the uh, instrument panel, you've got the, uh, I don't know if you've got pedals on there. 
can't see any pedals at the minute but either way you've got everything on there whereas on the gecko one you've got photo etch for the front and the pedals you've got the steering column going through i think you've got the steering column going through for the airfix one as well uh photo etch on there and then moving to and putting all that down and then you're continuing with more photo etched putting all the lights in putting the bonnet together uh, looks like you can counter that open to show the engine then you're putting all this together putting all the um uh jerry cans together and then you're putting the rear floor deck together this next section here is what i wanted to show you so this is the difference between what airfix say and the, what gecko say so you've just got some plastic boxes that go together and put on on airfix uh, oh, sorry on gecko you've got photo etch that goes together and plugs in underneath the floor and, and goes together like that and then you've got the rear fenders going together on the airfix one Basically, you're putting the rear fenders on, there's no photo etch for them, and then you're putting the rear deck on. Step 16, other than the Gecko one, you actually put this on later, and then you're putting a one piece rather than a two piece. Well, in fact, the Gecko one is four pieces, so you can actually open that up and show the engine. You've got a one piece, and this is what I wanted to come back to. So as you can see the difference, you've got a one piece radiator grill segment going on. You've got the radiator that you've never seen in your life, but on the gecko one, you've got the grills and everything and all this stuff going together. And then moving on, it's step 18 and 19, the build is done. And then you go into the color schemes for the Airfix version which you can see there. So you've got four schemes in that one. Whereas, let's get back to where we were. The Gecko one carries on going. Now I'm gonna sort of waft over this. But as you can see, you've got tons of photo etch going in and you've got all the various stretches and this and that going together all the way through putting all them in and then you've actually got the Enfield rifles that go in then you're starting to put the cabin together the rear cabin fifth set 53 and then this is basically the option so you've got you can either have the stretches all put down and obviously these are the sort of options that you haven't got in the fx one then you're putting the front cab together you've got springs to put on which are plastic i'm guessing with some photo etched over the top of it Again, you've got photo etched for the front of the uh, driver's window that can be opened up. You've got the roof to go on. You've got these really cool doors or you've got the rolled up doors. And then moving on to the end piece, which is putting the rear doors on. And then that's it. A lot more comprehensive, a lot more complete. And then you've got your two schemes which is the one that I'd do, is the Ice Cold in Alex, which looks awesome. And there we have it. That is the booklets between Airfix and Gecko. Right, so I thought I'd do the same with the decals and the PE like I've done with the instructions. So let's have a look. So to compare the two, and disclaimer moment, I ballsed up here, I proper cocked up. I dropped the decals for the Airfix kit on the floor and I ran over them. So this is no bias to Airfix whatsoever. That is me that's done that. That is not what comes in the kit. They were like this. So yeah, that's my cock up. So the only thing that I've got really is that if I bring them up close, bring them up really close, as you can see, the ones on the left is the Airfix one and the white is slightly more opaque than the one on the right. And also the red on the left is the Airfix one and slightly bled more. So they're the only two grabs I've got really. But that being said, 
why it is a bit of a problem, a bit of a sticky situation. So to say that you might have to undercoat these and, and paint a white circle before you put in the FX decals is a bit more a ball eight than the gecko ones. So that's my only situation. The next one, or well, the next problem for Airfix, is the difference between the left is gecko and the right is Airfix. So obviously Airfix think that this is all that you're worth for the same reasonable amount of money in price. So even if you was going to stick a pound more to the kit, that's the difference. So Airfix, there you go, you've got six parts, that is it. That's all I can tell you. And then on the Gecko kit, you've got considerably a lot more. You've got the grills for the front, as you can see, going the way through. So straight away, without saying any more, you've got a lot more. So anyway, with that done, let's have a look at the parts. Okay, so Airfix first. So Sprue A we have here, Sprue Alpha. And as you can see, it's the typical tan plastic looking of uh, Academy. And you'd be right, it is an Academy kit. Um, I'm guessing it's designed by FX, but either way. So as you can see, going through the detail, the detail is crisp, don't get me wrong. There's no flash that I can see whatsoever. Um, and it doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. On the blind side, now this is the problem. You start getting an ejection pin marks in certain things where you probably might not want these injection pin marks to be. Um, obviously these two halves go together and these two halves go together so that won't be a big of a problem. The doors, there's no injection pin marks on there whatsoever. But the detail just seems to be a bit lacking. But anyway, that's sprue A. So next we have sprue B. And again, that's the floor. Uh, no big amount of detail in there whatsoever, but it's it's crisp. Um, again, no flash, no problems. All this and the other going through. There's no injection pin marks on this side whatsoever, as you can see. That's the front segment there, where the windows will go in. That's the cabin wall to the rear section where the door goes. But the only problem is you've got ejection pin marks on that side. So this is the problem where you've got injection pin marks where you might not particularly want it on the back. They're strewn about everywhere. Now, all these flat walls, there's not detail all across these. So, will you see them all? Probably. That is the only downside that you've got on there. But again, it is a clean sprue. Academy have done well at casting that. And it makes me think, why are Academy doing these now? And then we have sprue D. So we've got the wheels there. Um, and the problem is the wheels are two halves. You've got the leaf springs on there. As you can see, you've got a couple of ejection pin marks in there, but nothing too major. Um, the exhaust... And then you've got the front of the vehicle, the front uh, grill, which is unfortunately, like we said in the instructions, moulded as one piece. And then you've got all the rest of bits and bobs on there. That's the rear diff, that's what it looks like. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a rear diff. It's just a round segment with some detail on it. Um, front fender, again, you've got a series of ejection pin marks in there and other stuff in there. So yeah, nothing really major to shout out about on there, it's just parts for a vehicle. Last but not least, you've got the bonnet with the side panels with the louvers on there. And as you can see, the detail is not screaming out to be honest with you. It is just straightforward. But that being said, it is a clean piece. No major detail issues there. But if you're going to have it open, you're going to have to sort out those injection pin marks. But why would you have it open? Because you can't have a... Well, you haven't got an engine. <laughs> but anyway, so we'll have a look at the Gecko sprues next. 
Okie dokie, so starting off with sprue A for the gecko kit. So obviously you've got the main cab um, and as you can see you've got some nice texture detail on there whereas the inside is nice and smooth. So you've got two halves to this, so you've got the inner section and the topper section. So you compare that and if you go back to the Airfix one you can see the difference in detail. So you've got slightly bit more detail than this on, in this than the Airfix one. So that's sprue A. Next is sprue AB. Now this comprises mainly of the rear section of the vehicle and you've got the different of the uh, doors. So you've got the doors open and you've got the doors rolled up. Now it's a bit different in this one compared to the Airfix one. This one looks a slightly bit more de detailed, slightly bit more better in the way that it's folded. Uh, on the blind side, obviously, you've got ejection pin marks in there, but it's neatly tucked away behind detail that will go on that wall. So that, I must admit, is nice. And as you can see, and as you can see the way through this one, is that the detail on both sides is nice and crisp. You've got slightly bit more interesting detail on the surface than the Airfix one. So, moving on to sprue BA, and this carries on. So, as you can see... The wall detail that you got from the Airfix one, and I might put a picture up there of what it looks like on the Airfix one, is this is all open and that one is all closed as you can see. And as you're going through around the other way around, as you can see as you're going around, the detail is pretty nice. And on the blind side, there's no injection pin marks where it doesn't need to be. So again, pretty good. Okay, so sprue C for the gecko kit. Now as you can see you've got the chassis rail on there which looks pretty nice. You've got the leaf springs which I'm going to show you down here because I'll put a picture up here of the Airfix one and you can compare the two. Moving along, it's nice on this kit you've got a drilled out exhaust which is quite funky. You've got the rad there which got nice surface detail as you can see. Moving through to an engine, unlike the Airfix one, you do actually get. So yeah, yeah, quite tasty that. I do like that. It's uh, it's very nicely detailed. Again, in there, there should be some injection pin marks, but there isn't on both sides. So kudos to uh, Gecko for that one. Moving on to Spruce CA. So you've got the fender there, and as what I showed you in the Airfix one, you've got a load of injection pin marks. You've only got three. And literally two of them you can get out within about two seconds. So on the blind side again, these grills here, like the Airfix one, are not hollow, but hey-ho. And then you've got the front bonnet, which has got no injection pin marks, and it's got the what do you call it, the um, form of opening it up, is it the hinge, there we go. And there's the instrument panel. All nicely cast, looking pretty cool. And you've got the front grille, which you can put the photo etch on there. It's a very nice touch. Next sprue is sprue DA, and got it upside down again. So you've got two sprues here, so we'll just show one. And I must admit, I do like on this is where it says Dunlop Track Grip. And then on the other side, it's got Made in England. I don't know if you're going to see that. But again, it's got all the fuel tanks on there. It's got the uh, slide moulded technology on there, which I don't think you do get on the FX one. So, yeah, really interesting on that. Next sprue, you get two of each again. And this one's sprue BD. And these are all the cushions and stuff that go on the side. And again, on the back side, you've got injection pink marks on here, but not on here. Nice touch. Also a nice touch is the Lee Enfield rifle, where it's got a nice bolt on there. And you actually see the trigger as well. And is the trigger... Yeah, the trigger's hollow. Well, the trigger guard is hollow, and you can see the trigger in there. So yeah, really, really cool. Next little sprue, you get two again, so two of the jerry cans and the usual jerry cans and the shitty British ones that leaked everywhere, but either way we'll gloss over that. 
So you've got it all complete in there, looks pretty cool and nicely cast. So I've got six here, I don't know why I've got six, I think there's only four in the box, but I've got six here anyway, but I'll just nick one. And this is Sprue FR, I think, yes. And this is your stretcher, and on the both sides, there's no injection pen marks with the exception in there, but they're the cushions that will go down on it. So unlike the Airfix one, you've got injection pin marks to go down there, this one doesn't. And it's got nice surface texture. So looks pretty good. So next sprue is sprue DB, and then this is just basically little tiny bits and bobs of the exhaust, I think, and a few other bits and bobs on there. And you've got the area where the spare wheel will go in just behind the, uh, the driver's seat, I think, or in the cabin anyway. But yeah, not really much on there. Next one is Sprue BC. Again, just flat pieces majority, but if you look on the back, I think that certain ones have got ejection pin marks where they need to be, others they haven't. So, nice touch, nice little seat as well, and nice texture for the seat and bottom. So, yeah. Last but not least, you've got the uh, tyres. So, you've got one, two, three, four, five, five. So, we'll get rid of four. The only downside I've got on this one is that you've got a seam line that goes on both sides all the way around. Um, probably a bit of a sand on the on the flat side here and you'll probably get away, away with that. So other than that, they look nice and will look cool on the vehicle. So the last thing to show is the clear parts. So what I'll do is I'll show you the air, uh, well, I'll show you the gecko ones first. Now the one thing I do like about the gecko ones is that the front door on the two front side doors they've got the windows that have got that you know that shitty plasticky window effect and they've really cast it very well on there that looks cool and obviously there's nothing nothing really much to show you on the flat bits but you compare that to the airfix one and it's just all flat all of them are flat there's no sort of uh, window effect or anything like that on there whatsoever um, I don't think it gives you an option at all and not only that as we saw from the instructions there's I think supposed to be the wiper blades which are just a stick no detail whatsoever so compare the two and you can't really go wrong for the gecko one so there you go that is the review and there we have it, that is the review of the battle of the ambulances between Gecko and Airfix. Oh dear Airfix, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear my son, oh dear my son. Yeah, you can obviously choose which one you want from this video, uh, it's your own personal opinion. Me personally, I'd rather choose the Gecko kit. Mainly because the price, if you shop around, you can find it £1.12p more. You get more refined detail, you get more plastic for one. You get more photo etch, you get better decals, you get better clear parts. And just every part on the Gecko kit is that much better than the Airfix one. Airfix just seem to just machine gun the kits with injection pin marks. Whether that is because they've sent it to Academy... Whether Academy is cheaper to send it to, who knows. I don't know the ins and outs for the company themselves. That being said, though, the Airfix kit, there's no flash on it. There's no uh, problems with the plastic itself, as such as apart from the injection pin marks. But for the price, why are people banging on about? And why is there more reviews for the Airfix one than there is for the Gecko one? It just seems to me that, yes, I'm, I'm British myself and Airfix is British, but I am more, if I see a kit that's wrong, as in that there's another kit that's better, well, I'd rather plug the better kit, regardless of who it is. If Tamiya have done something wrong, I'll say, well, you've done that wrong, mate. If Airfix have done something wrong, you've done that wrong. If ICM have done something wrong, You'd, t you'd say you've done something wrong, but you're charging more for NAFOL, I was going to swear then, 
what why and airfix don't seem to be moving forward they've never moved forward to decades and the only reason why they can't do it in-house is because they haven't got the money to do it in-house which i don't think they have the airfix of old used to be crap plastic that used to just be just shit to play with whereas they're having to do academy to do the mouldings or somebody else or this or that they can't do it themselves but anyway there's a bit of a legal thing as well going on which i think is a lot of bollocks but we'll gloss over that so buy the gecko kit don't buy that piece of crap and if you have throw it out at the window give it to dogs or something on pretty in bin anyway these two kits are going to go down to a good friend of mine called Steve Sutcliffe and he's going to put these two together and his first instance he's not going to paint them he's going to do something funky with them uh, which I'll explain in the next video I'm going to try to get him to do a video if he can if he can't then pictures might suffice and I'll just annotate over the top of them or just talk over the top of them or something and show you the differences between the two so that is that so finally there's a review of the two whether there was one before me i don't know but either way i just want to say thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time cheerio